Hello everyone and welcome to another fa Friday Facebook Live with Studio Central. We are here at Upbeat Artworks, which is our gallery and art store. You can see the art around here. So for those that don't know, we are part of Artbeat, which is a nonprofit organization that believes in the healing power of art. So using art as a tool to help with recovery from mental challenges. Um, Studio Central is right across the way from here and anyone is welcome to come in 18 plus and create art with any supplies we have available. So today we're gonna get into our art demo. We're doing some resin. So I will flip the camera around and let Kate introduce everything. Hello, hello, happy Friday. And we are all happy and ready for a very good workshop today. I'm still calling it a workshop even if it's not. <laughs> Uh, we have resin here, and it's a different kind of resin that we bought off of Amazon. Uh, we have results from the last time, last Friday, that I'm going to show. But also, may I have the white, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just touched resin, and every time I touch resin, because whatever you do with it, it's still there, and my fingers get hot like a little bit. So I don't want to touch the prints too much. So maybe Abby will be showing the prints. Okay. Uh, we have a very good, talented artist here. She's not here, but we're showing her artwork. And I will give a little bit of uh, introduction. Sadie Lee Foyles, uh, born in Winnipeg in 1995 to an artistic family, drew TV characters as a child, and by grade six has completed a graphic novel in anime style. Though she took art classes in school and follows Miles Johnson's art on Instagram, she's proudly self-taught. Now she does mixed media drawings combining pen, colored pencil, graphite, pastels, oils, and watercolors, mainly on paper, but occasionally on canvas. Sadie's models are photos, poems, and her own dreams. Realistic anatomical elements appear in a highly detailed, decorative, and often surrealistic treatment containing fantasy themes and abstract, psychedelic style expressions of cosmic spirituality. The work alternates between, on one hand, idealized and lyrical forms, and on the other, distorted images of terror, disorder, and suffering. I switch back and forth in my work between black and white moods, says Sadie, but they do also combine these elements within some pieces to show balanced emotion. Recently, Sadie has embarked on a new Rock of Fame series, which consists of highly realistic and positive portraits of stars, ranging from Bob Marley and Jimi Hendrix to John Lennon and Kurt Cobain. Uh, Sadie's technical craft is highly developed and she says she takes a lot of time perfecting each piece. When I see almost anything, I imagine just how I would draw it. Art is everything to me. I think about it all the time. And sorry, my reading was not perfect today, but I wanted to mention that this bio was written several years ago so it's not very recent but i still want to show the prints mm -hmm. that we have here one of is of john lennon and it's uh signed by sadie on the back and it's beautifully done yeah. sadie is amazing at those details in her pieces and then we have the second one of Jimi Hendrix. If you are looking for uh, for them in the online store, you can go by Sadie Lee Foyles, by the artist, or you can uh, try the search Jimi Hendrix or John Lennon. Mm -hmm. But also there are other artworks that we have from Sadie, and they are all beautiful. And also we have an update here in the store. Uh, we have print um, arrangement here from various artists, but Sadie has her own arrangement on this side. 
And we have the stones, friends, from C1, 2. And that is it for here. But also we have some in the bin. And we have two on the display. Yeah. Right there. So that one is a brand as well. And it's installed the same way as this one, yeah. but just on a smaller, a little smaller um, paper. So I just want to come back really briefly to what we were doing last week. So what I have here are uh, rocks that we resin, and these rocks actually cured. The, uh, we did it on Friday when I came on Tuesday. It was completely cured. But we are giving it more time to cure because inside it might not be the perfect, mm -hmm. uh, perfectly done. So I give it some time. So these are the rocks, and as you see, some of resin just flew over, and we have some some bottoms. So this one did not have as much resin mm -hmm. underneath. This one had more. So this, uh, if it's a little bit too sharp, we can just file it down like these guys, and this looks, and even you can see that underneath it's not perfectly done, so yeah. we could just put it this way and wait till next time, because on top it's very well done, but mm. underneath it still did not cure well. This one's completely cured, but it went, you see, all around it. Mm -hmm. So we just need to cut it off and file it. And this one is good, completely good to go out in the garden. This one needs to be filed. And this one needs to be filed. Uh, so as a comparison, I have two rocks that uh, have spray sealer that are going in the garden today. One is I love coffee and another one is just a simple rose. And this is a spray sealer that they used and that was the uh, clear clear coat crystal. I do not really remember the exact name, but this is what I used on here. And you can see the difference mm -hmm. between how resin looks like and how the spray sealer. So necklaces that we have. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> so this is the ready product. And we used resin to connect. So I need more wipes. Because some underneath was not touched yet, so mm -hmm. it did not. So if it had something underneath it, it did not look good to me like this one it's still sticky a bit so we need to consider that sometimes I could just put them up upside down and let them dry all the rest feels good to me but uh, anyone is welcome to take yours home and do whatever you want with it I'm so pleased with the mm -hmm. result yeah. and it's it weighted and heavy with the like resin mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'm not giving you this one, I just show it. Just I don't want yeah. to get into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then these guys, they're good to take. This one, <coughs> this one and this one feels tiny bit sticky, but not as much. I'm so, gonna give the dorky pink one to like <laughs> my niece. <laughs> So what we have here today, what we're going to do, we have those resin bases, and these are available online, and they're different kinds. So there is a variation, there is square, a drop, round, the oval, and these are the four vari variations that we have here. Just want, I don't know why they're stuck one to each other. <laughs> Just take them apart. The so those are silicone <laughs> molds. And silicone molds for resin are different, a bit different from silicone molds that are for baking. 
Some artists do use baking molds for resin. Mm -hmm. That depends on what you want to do with it, but they do not settle as uh, evenly as, like these have more, I don't know, stability, I'd say. Mm -hmm. They're thicker and they're made for resin. Something they also do is um, occasionally, depending on the mold itself, it can leave a frosted look on your resin. Um, so it may not come through as clear, as crystal clear as uh, one of these types will. But depending on what you're doing, that might be perfectly awesome. Yeah, uh, so with resin, uh, resins can be very different and there are so many different factors. As, a, as an example, this one I tried uh, in several locations and it was curing well in my place but the previous resin that they brought here it was not curing well in my place <clears throat> at studio central it cured and it was the good place on the sun and everything um well not the direct sun but it was a little bit away so if you was at studio central you know what it was in the back uh, I asked Marisa, Marisa is okay with me putting in another portion of <laughs> resin there. Um, what uh, resin can do, it can uh, be bubbly. So for dealing with bubbles, we have toothpicks, which is not my first choice. Also, I have a little dragon hiding in my bag. <laughs> my mom calls it a dragon the propane torch, <laughs> but I'm not using it during workshop. I might if we complete, <laughs> if we're not able to get rid of the bubbles and it really irritates us, we will do it. <laughs> but if we manage with toothpicks, and we have a straw somewhere, right? We can, we can try the straw. Mm -hmm. So my first example, it's not as successful because I did it quite quickly and I just used the torch and I did not get rid of all the bubbles. So it's not ideal, but I can just pass it along so you can see what I mean. The bubbles stayed partially. Yeah, you can, if you look closely, it kind of has a cool effect though. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not as bad. And what uh, the color is, uh, my fingerprints all over it. The color is from the Let's Resin resin dye. Let's Resin is the company and it has 16 colors so I tried it. It was my first try ever with resin dyes and also the same company produces more. They have, uh, well, uh, the thing with Let's Resin that the company has everything for resin but uh, also other companies might produce something with a similar title which is not greatest for resin. As an example, they have the um, uh, alcohol ink for resin, mm -hmm. but I cannot guarantee other alcohol inks are good for resin. Right? So if you buy from another company, that might not be the mm -hmm. same thing. And I'm just showing what colors we have here. So it's ruby red, Peacock blue, sapphire blue, blue violet, orange, sky blue, yellow. This is so exciting. Like, mm -hmm. Peach red, light green, uh, black, white, violet, lemon yellow, uh, caramel. Emerald green and bright red. And writing here that someone might want to read. So you know what I'm doing? I'm just putting them back and then uh, I'm leaving the greens. Uh, there is a special reason for me leaving the greens out. Mm -hmm. And Oli will talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so in this cute little book here, Let's see, it has nothing to do with the actual book itself, but we have some special little four-leaf clovers that some artists 
with Artbeat um, will know about the farm where we found a patch of four leaf clovers. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole bunch of them and we're gonna try to make some crafts with them today. This book is just like full of them in like all the pages. <laughs> There's even some five leaf clovers in here. But yeah, and they're nice and little which will be perfect for the jewelry. Absolutely. Because I will need scissors to open the dies. They're not open yet. Okay, uh, I have the parchment paper. So this goes underneath. I bought parchment paper. And I'm really excited about these clovers. And actually, I was telling Nature, Nature never did anything like that work with resin in mm -hmm. smaller jewelry bases. I've never done anything like this before. Uh, so the whole surprise, I thought Major would see this book and she would be really impressed. The book full of clovers. Yeah. And I think that's a very good uh, first try. Yes. Lucky try. <laughs> I thought I had this organized in a specific way, but I can no longer remember what that was, which seems very random to me. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, these are the four, these are the five yeah, leaves. What am I doing? It should be opening oh. somewhere here. What do you like? I'm just oh. lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is a push tab. That the roll stays inside because when you when you don't push these mm -hmm. in, it goes out. It goes yeah. So, there we go. Oh, thank thank you. you. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a spoon sticker here. everyone like a piece of this Absolutely. and I'll be just uh, explaining about this. this I uh, clean the spoons and spoon, spoons are easy to use for me I don't know you can try uh, for taking out some resin and put mm -hmm. it in a base and it needs to be measured like less than the full spoon so it's just a measurement that is a bit easier than just uh, just pouring it out of the glass. So this is, again, it's alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol that I use to clean this. Okay, thank you. So I'll get this. Thank you. I use my supplies are very simple I order Chinese wooden cubes <laughs> Keep the wooden that. sticks and they're easy to use for mixtures and I I use a fork when I I, I use my fingers when I sushi so. mm -hmm. <laughs> what I do <laughs> I know it's not the perfect way but it's how I eat them um, I have a brush that can be used for partial work such as this mushroom it's the raku clay and it was made by one of our artists leona and i just added this little piece with the paint and roll cloth with a paint marker and then i'm just going to use the brush to cover just this part and to not touch the other raku parts that are uh, i don't want to resin them i think they're good by themselves 
So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, we have the Huggies. Okay, we got gloves. We got two paintings. And the two paintings are, one is from my daughter, Nature, and she painted this uh, for the new year. <laughs> that was so a cute. Oh, very cute. Um, so we're going to use some resin for uh, this. And also I have a painting that is in progress. I'm going to put resin first. It's a, it's a board. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, a sport. I'm going to place resin and then go on top of it. So I'm going to continue working on top of the resin. So I'm going to work on that. So we can just put this aside. Maybe, maybe we can take, take another roll of... Uh, I have the boards. So what I think, we could use the boards to put underneath and then we could put them on top of this board. So mm -hmm. it's easier to bring them to Studio Central for mm -hmm. carrying. Yeah, so I will take the other board for... Thank you. So we don't need parchment paper. No, Major, can you put parchment paper on uh, that board as well? And leave this painting there. Okay, so I'm going to take gloves. Everyone gets one glove. And the reason why, I'm going to give you the glass and you're just going to hold the glass and use the other part is the spoon and the um, you're going to put some amount in it. But you're not going to use resin on both of your hands. So let's try. If not, I'll give you the second glove. So I think that works out, but I'll explain it a bit better. Okay, um, so I kind of went put green. You can leave it clear, but mm -hmm. you can tell me the color you want. Mm -hmm. Which color would you want for your... I think the light green. Light green? Mm -hmm. you want, everyone is okay with light green? A little bit of green, yeah. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the light green and just put this aside so it doesn't want to go in the way. So it's open. And then there are two options. We can either lift it up or we could just cut, cut it with scissors. And then it should be open. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm putting both of the gloves because I'm going to mix the rest. Can I have the gloves? All right, so we don't need scissors anymore. And okay. And I'm just taking out all the clovers because I need to organize them better or if I'm gonna... Oh! <laughs> I do not like when this happens, but it's okay. I can go on working like this. I did not read the whole. I feel like a mortician or something. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So I will just move this to the side. Okay. I'm going to work with this one. And we got three, so as long as we uh, went with the same resin uh, dye, we could use just one cup, mm -hmm. unless someone wants it clear. Maybe I'll try some clear. Clear? Yeah. Okay, so I will make some and just pour one, one is extra done. Okay, because I need clear resin for the paintings. Unless you want a green bunny. <laughs> Even the first layer does not affect it too much, so it won't be even visible if you just apply it in a thin layer. So these guys, uh, I don't know, uh, they might go in the garden. I just need to put them in packages. Someone might, might make earrings or 
mental preparation. Okay. Here, this was the resin that actually froze on the way. It was placed by Amazon driver and he rang the bell and left. And my mom did not really hear. She went out, but she did not see the box because it was on the side, somewhere behind something. And she just did not see it. And I came back home in several hours and I see this box. <laughs> what is this? I bring it inside. So the resin part was all frozen completely. <laughs> so I let it go for how much? A couple of days to make sure it's completely undone. And then, so this part is hard. <coughs> the hardener part. I would need some kind of a wipe. I cannot open it without a wipe. I usually use the. Oh my goodness, that, yeah, that's, that's it's very, very hard. hard. Wow. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Let's all take a turn. <laughs> It's like Excalibur burst. Yeah. It's like the chosen one. The strong woman competition. Yeah. Well, usually it helps to have a paper towel. And yesterday I opened it with a paper. I don't want to knock you over or something. Oh, there. Oh, you got it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, good. So we need to start mixing. So guys, do you want to start mixing? I can first look. And just, the glass is good for now. I did not touch it on the side. <laughs> Let's hope so. So just, yeah, so it goes for something like at about five minutes. So we can all take turns to mix because mixing can take some time. So just touch the glass, the parts that are in the bottom that are not. Can I steal this one? Yeah. I've been keeping my eye on okay. it. Okay, of course. It's so beautiful. Some of them have I'm actually lost. actually eyeing this one. <laughs> some of them has, have lost some of their leaves. <laughs> so they're not quite four leaf anymore. But and this is beautiful. This That one's very this good. Nice. Mitra, what do you think about this guy? Yeah, that one's nice. What, what's I think it's lost. Missing pieces. Yeah, do you, you want this? Wait, no, where was it? Where is Did it? I have that the one three. right there? I love that. Okay. This one? There we yeah, go. I love that. Yeah, the luckiest of them all. It's cute. I just don't want to touch it with my glove. Yeah. yeah, you can also look at what I've already put in the book. Eight. Cause yours. No. I need to wipe this. We touched it everywhere. Yeah. Oh no! Lost another leaf. <laughs> Who wants the the? He's wonky. 
the, the luckiest of. All right, Mr. Can you please pull out one of the wipes? I just want to wipe this. It just. It technically has four leaves. Yeah. One. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't like these. Guys. That's a good one. <laughs> What does that even mean? That's a good one. I'm like being so specific about my clover. <laughs> You're gonna hurt the other clover's feelings. I know. You're all special to me. I like this one. It's like three, and then this little fan on the bottom. All right. Okay, Mitra, you turn to mix. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Feel that one. I really feel that one. <laughs> if anybody would like any um, little sequin kind of thing. Yeah, I was like looking at that. <laughs> I was like, holy. I God. found them at the dollar store for like four bucks for all of them. And I'm like, these just make me happy. So I've got some green ones here. There's some other green ones in here. If, if you want to take a peek. I would yeah. totally go for it. Yeah. <laughs> totally Magical. look at that. Yeah, I love putting like little beads and little sequiny kind of things in with the other stuff. Like behind it, like behind the um behind the clover, I think that it's just gonna be magical personally. It does like it already looks magical just in the bottles. Right. It's like a pixie dust. I love it. I love, I love these clovers. All right, always turn to me. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> the the <laughs> magical concoction. Should I Can I check them out? Um, little green hearts. Mm -hmm. This looks sweet. Yeah, that's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, gold looks good to me. Like this, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, you can choose, like, let's say, take three and or four. How many do I have here? Because I used two and they're at home. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would give different shapes so you get an, each. Oval, how many ovals do we have? We have one, two, three, one for meter. I, okay, here, this is for meter. Then we have this drop shape. One, two, three. And I used the two at home. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so we have this. Uh, we can bargain for them. <laughs> Do some trades. Mm -hmm. Rectangle, squares, and round. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. So, um, Mater, you're not using the drop shape and me because I use the two at home. To try. <laughs> did, you, did you order these as one big set? Yes. Did, okay. It's How much set. was it for all of them? Uh, around twenty something. That's not. Or maybe wrong. not. Maybe even less. That's a really good deal for all of. These. Could be like twelve, fifteen dollars. Because I was that ordering was two bags. Sure. I yeah. do not remember which one was. Did you get much Amazon? Amazon? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So I think uh, oh, it's I not it. too much. Oh no. The. That kit was twenty something dollars, but this was less. 
That's really good. Good team, I think. I, I love resin molds. They make me happy. I have a whole mm -hmm. collection of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy so. story. <laughs> no, I don't do labor. <laughs> it really, like, you feel that afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I <coughs> split it because it's hard to do it, like, for one person. This, this resin is going to be wet. Mm -hmm. It is going to be wet. Okay, so for uh, I'll separate the um, the part that is just uh, clear, and I will give it to Major. Major, do you want to do the resin? Okay, it's just the four, and you can just spread it with a stick to the edges. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I want to try clear for like these as well. Like maybe like one. Yeah. Um, I, I want to try to get the dye as well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, whichever will be left over from the clear will go in the <laughs> paintings. And then I will be making the mixture with the room. Okay, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like I need the dragon. Like yeah. my mom, every time I pull out the torch, it's like all the dragon. <laughs> I like bubbles. I I kind of like when they're in there. It just gives it a certain look and feel. I mean, it depends. You know, if there's big like holes in it, that's a different thing. But when there's little bubbles here and there, it kind of it's like my, my bubbles. It's a vibe. <laughs> It is. <laughs> That's a gooder too, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will just pour some of it. Okay, so how do you get rid of the bubbles? That is what the torch is for? The torch is for that, but also the reason option to fix, it's a lot of work though, yeah. because you need to try to Poke them out, mm -hmm. take them out, whatever people do with it. There is the straw we could try. I don't know how to use it. We can try. Okay. And then uh, I have the torch and I can use it, but the torch, it needs to be lifted. So we need to put the bases on top of something. So it does not, it, like paper, you can just yeah. inflate with it the torch quickly. Yeah. Exactly so we we'll probably need some kind of a uh, plastic cover that can just elevate it from yeah. the table. Mm -hmm. So I will see if we have anything like I'll that. Say once you're done with your your beverage there, you could flip that over and do it over top of the, you could put the piece on there and do it over top of that because over top of the metal would be the way that they could do it. This is for this one is clear so anyone is welcome to Use your spoon and put it in the base. So again, it's not the full spoon; it's less than the like the covered spoon. Okay. Or otherwise, it would go over. Do I put the clover in first or second? Or do like do I put like some? I would a little put a little bit of it underneath and put the clover in and use no. some kind of a. You can use the same spoon to settle it underneath and then. Um, I would think the first layer needs to go there. And I don't want to use the brush, I think the spoon will do. So just... Okay, um, let's see. So usually it's like, just look, it's one drop. There's more. <laughs> let's see what one drop does. Oh, but it was my favorite. Oh, so yes. this is oh, one, all right. one drop. Hell yeah. Hey, that looks like a nice drink. Mm -hmm. Just like lemonade -y. Yeah. yeah. I don't think Ashley's a food dork. 
your dark clover going on. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Two drops. I think four is going to be the magic. Let's do the four. <laughs> I got the little glitters. When do I add those? Can I see the glitter? Yes. Okay, so, so this is four drops. Ooh. Can we make a third one that's darker? That's a vibrant green. It is a very vibrant green. <laughs> so, uh, I'll get that cup. And I'll, I'll add darker green. And yeah. See what happens. <laughs> This is emerald green. Testament to my uh -huh. hobbies. I would say if I'm not covered in paint, that's something you should worry about me. <laughs> the color is going to go off. Oh, that's a lovely color. Oh, wow. You like this? I love it. That's such a. Such a like clover kind of right <laughs> oh. Let's make it like really. Rich. Rich because when you put it in a tiny, like smaller layer, it's not as usable. So let's let's stop here. What do you think? The stopping. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just move on to making, feeling it. <laughs> okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> you want to go first? This <laughs> is so hard to like get the right amount. This is a test. It's quite interesting. I just need to open this. And one thing you could do if you were. Um, planning to do this over a period of a few days is you could start out with a, a colorful one as your base and then let it cure then add your details and pour a clear resin over top of that yeah. and that's fun too or vice versa you can start with the clear and do the, the other one I think the oval one works for the clover I picked. I really mm -hmm. like the oval one. I think it goes well here. Focusing when everything gets quiet. Yeah, just <laughs> silent as a yeah. grave. Oh. I would you think I could steal one of those clovers from you? Oh, of course. 
Do you want me to pass you the whole book and you can look through them? I think this I can. book is like, I mean, it's the Observer's Book of Painting and Graphic Art. Where did you find this book? It was a gift. That is divine. Hmm? Yeah. Do you want to try this one? <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel confident. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried this drawer, even though some kids on Amazon, I think they have this drawer in them, not all of them, but I never bought any because they got the torch. So I would not, I don't want to try it. The only thing scarier than the torch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would need to power it up, even though uh, it's not the new propane tank, so yeah. it's not as controllable as when it's full. Mm. It's harder to control it, I find. Well, if someone really wants me to do that, I could do that. If someone wants me to uh, use the torch, but we would need yeah. to find um, Okay, I'll see if we have anything in the back. Okay. Um, enough. Uh, yeah, resin can be really great to work with, but it's limiting from the point of view of what you can touch. I'm not done completely, but I'll take it back when I'm here. Take a peek at how things are going. The green does look great with it. Mm -hmm. Is this you who brought this? I'm oh, sorry, what's up? In yours, just put it here on the tray, okay? I will just take it out. Yeah, we're also getting oh, close to an hour. Yeah. Alrighty. So this is the propane. Pro torches can be either propane or butane. I never use the butane one. So this is the one I got from Art Resin. And James generously <laughs> like, got me to Home Depot and got. <laughs> was it Home Depot? No, it was no. Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire, right. It was Canadian Tire. Home Depot did not have any. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what happened. But I'm pretty sure you didn't even go to home. I don't remember now. I went somewhere. <laughs> I remember you got it at Canadian Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. So the torch is fixated well, and I would ask everyone to kind of move. Yeah. Can uh, I? I think I need a couple more drops in mine of the clear, and then okay, absolutely. if you let me, oh, I'm 
and I'm not putting my clover in yet. I want to put it after, but it, it shouldn't burn the clover if it's inside. And then I could use it after I feel mine and, and work on mine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, the torch is easy to operate. I just put it on mine uh, on plus a little bit, not to the very end, definitely. Yeah, that's a nice controlled little. And you don't have to go too close, you just need a little bit of the heat, yeah? That's what I could do from the first time. So I did not remove all the bubbles yet. Mm -hmm. So I need to go. Just went away on a Mine had like a time. huge thing of bubbles <laughs> in the middle. It was blocking the entire yeah. clover. Let's see. experience now. I do it often in my place now because like often because I prepare for some for a project so I just I just need to <laughs> okay so what I can do here I can take mine back and place the clover which I did not do yet And I could use either toothpick or toothpick works. And I could dip it and just cover it I took a bit of with what I have. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I still see some bubbles that came from underneath. So I kind of go over the edges and see if that. I might use the torch again because I don't want the bubbles at all. But again, I'm learning. I'm not the person who would say things for sure because this is the resin I bought the first time, mm -hmm. and I cannot guarantee that it works the same way uh, for everyone. Um, the other resin that I bought before worked at Studio Central. It did not work in my place, especially I cover things because my cat goes there. Mm -hmm. His hair goes everywhere. So after I cover it, it does not cure as well. It cures well when it's not even uh, covered. Um, another but moment of me being not. weak. Can anyone open this little thing? Oh, <laughs> I can. Claire for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think I can take another clover. Oh yeah, the book side over there. Oh. You want to take some of that clear? Yeah, man, I'm hoarding it over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of it, so it's okay. Oh, there is this cutie. Cutie. <laughs> it can go in the round. I want one that's tiny enough to actually fit in the oval. <laughs> oh, I have a tiny one here. I don't know if you want to use this one. I just pick. <gasps> oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Maybe uh, not. <laughs> no, it can be gathered together there. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. It's all right. I'll just put this on the green for a second. Thank you so much. Yay. I'll find a different one for myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this works out. Okay, I'll try, I'll 
try to go to know. Okay, so I'll fill it with green. And Major, uh, when you're done with this, we could resin my painting. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So how are you feeling about that? I'm loving this right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Okay, so again, if you made more, I would use the torch and I wanted to use the gold, gold beads. Quite interesting. So we started early because we want the pieces to be completely ready by St. Patrick's. Yes. Just apparently well, maybe just over a week. Yeah. I actually thought it was the next week for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a bit not there with my schedule. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being early. <laughs> You can see the resin starts settling already, so it needs to be quickly done. out of your focus state. Yes. <laughs> Can I have the clear again? Yes. Thank you. Of course. Uh, I'm just like micromanaging glitters. <laughs> <laughs> and I would, I think I can use like the other green and try to, I don't know, should I try? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. I 
second try with the um, I don't know, just other green maybe. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. May I have a little four leaf clover? Of course. Would you like this one? Yes, please. Is this one small enough? Maybe I'll put it in the square, guys. Yeah, yeah that's what I'll do. <laughs> the thing we always love about being here for these uh, demos is that everybody's collaborative efforts are so on point, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I appreciate looking at like all of the different outcomes we make. Mm -hmm. Like we're all doing the same thing, but not at all. <laughs> I'm excited to see how these stir <laughs> up. We want to end it here and then finish the rest of our I focus off can. camera. I can. <laughs> Getting too into it. Yeah, you know? we definitely are. Because we will spend, at least personally speaking for myself, um, a very long time <laughs> focused on this. Yeah, I want to just go over with some torch and I guess mm -hmm. we're being done on that stage. So do you want to put yours on here so I could just do it quickly? Again, putting it a little tiny bit on the plus. Give me one second. I'm just placing on it. And then a show for that. <laughs> that was the fun show. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll post pictures of all these later. Like